So today I'm gonna to be showing you how to do a basic edit on Final Cut Pro. So I started off by layering the video clip with the separate audio clip. I then turned down the video audio, which you just do by clicking and dragging down. I then cut the audio where the speaking started. And in order to cut, you hold down Command and B. And then I deleted the other part of the audio, which you just do by pressing the backspace button. I then dragged the audio back to the beginning and turned the volume down on the audio clip and turned up the video clip again, which again, you just do by dragging. I then cut the video clip so the speaking started at the same time as the audio clip. I did have to do a little bit of changing of it What you should get as a result of this is if you turn up the audio volume, it should be in sync with the video. The next thing I did was a simple cut. So every time there's a pause in what the people are saying, I will cut or wherever I feel like it needs a cut, I will put one in. So in order to do this, we're gonna have to cut both the audio clip and the video clip. So in order to do this, you have to highlight both, which you do by clicking on one of the clips so it's got a yellow border around it, holding the shift button and clicking on the audio clip at the same time. So they should be both highlighted. From here, you can just press Command B which will cut them both. So you just want to repeat that process where the next part starts and then delete the middle part out by pressing the back button again. So something else that is really important to add in when you're editing is a transition. So you can add this in between the cuts between two clips. So in order to do this, there is a button at the side which has a whole load of transitions that you can look through i just grabbed the cross dissolve transition and dragged it on to where i wanted it you can also double click it to adjust the duration of it or drag either side of the transition to also change the duration of that so the next thing that is important is adding text so you just go up to the top left hand corner and there is a text button if you click on that you can find loads of different text which also have different effects on them so you can look through them but i love just using the basic title and adding my own transitions onto that and then on the right hand side you can type in what you want it to say you can change the font which i changed it to this nice clear one this is one of my favorite fonts i adjusted the size of it you can do a whole load of other things as you can see with it as well I also scrolled down and clicked on outline, changed the colour to black and changed the width of it just so it stood out a little bit more and you could actually read what it says. You can also drag it around the screen and do many other things with the text. And then after this, I added a wipe transition onto it and you can also make the text shorter and not be on the screen as long by doing another simple cut to it. So the next thing I'm going to show you how to do is how to add a green screen. So this is really good if you want to have a pop up on the screen. So you can make the green screens in loads of different ways. One way is through Photoshop or you can also download them off of YouTube. I don't have an example green screen to show you. So I'm going to use this Rebel logo, which does have a black background. So it's not going to work as well and it's not going to be as sharp as you'll see in a minute. But it still gives you an idea of how this works. So you insert the clip over the top of your other clips. So then you just go over to the right hand side to the effects and you scroll down to the keying section and apply the keyer effect by dragging and dropping it onto the clip. So by doing this, it will automatically cut out the green background. It has cut out the black background here, but as you can see, the rebel is slightly faded because it doesn't work as well as using a green screen but that is essentially how you do that so that is how to do some basic edits in final cut pro you can also see that there's a bunch of other effects that you can use which i'm scrolling through a bit here there's so much you can do on final cut pro but i hope that this helped a little bit more on how to get your editing started